I drop this fast? Lieutenant Char! Help! I can't slow my fall! Help me! Sorry, Crown. Unfortunately, Azaku isn't built for entering the atmosphere. But I promise you, I'll make sure you don't die in vain. Here it is. Procedures for atmospheric entry. Coolant shift. Heat buffer. All circuits engaged. Deliver that vase to Lady Cassilia for me. It's... it's priceless!
Are you okay? Four, answer me. Four. Camille. Okay, now pop the hatch. Camille, is that you? You shouldn't be in the Psycho Gundam. Get out. <gasps> Die, Camille. Jared. Leave us alone. Four. Try using your weapons now, Haman. Weak, Shar. What? Should we end this or keep going, Shar? Who gave you the right to decide? <sighs> you better watch your mouth. Char, if only you had joined me. So that's Gundam, Mark II. What's this? I sense something. It has a beam shield? Is that the best a Gundam Mark II can do? I'm sorry. I have to shoot! I'm here! Big Brother! Hurry! Four! Zeta, is it carrying some kind of new weapon? A warmonger like you would never understand the power flowing through my body. Power flowing through your body? You think that can destroy a mobile suit? Camille's piloting a mobile suit that can put all that power to use. The Zeta Gundam. A woman's voice? You want some more? Yeah! Move! The O! Why won't you move? Time for you to go! Watch your angle! Okay! Uh, 
out of juice! Judo! <sighs> Don't do it! Guess who? Prepare to die! Right, that's the plan. Kill Judo! Let me! Is the double Zeta unstoppable? Judo! Lemmy, leave Purutu alone! Judo, take me with you! Purutu, come back! I will never forget that you loved me. So it's you, Ru Luca. I die at your hands. I'm sorry. Judo, do you have any idea why it is that I called you here? Yeah, I do. Because you're the sentimental type, right? Huh. Very funny. This is the Xeon homeland. It also happens to be where we first met. And it would be your grave! gets hurt. Fine by me. <laughs> I'll show you a world of hurt! Where are you going? I hoped for a tie, but you won. I'm on! Uh, I'm glad I came back uh, and got to meet you. Don't move an inch. If you try anything, I'll kill the pilot of this mobile suit. Kira! Abandon the Gundam, and I'll free the pilot. Don't worry about me. Wait! I'll detach my funnels! You're not fooling anybody. Those were just radiators! Kill Amaro! you get for ignoring me. First missile barrage. Fire! Yeah. 
switch a nuclear. Launch funnels. There can't be that many of them. There. Another launch. Bright doesn't mess around. Suits? No, they're missiles! Oh, they're nuclear missiles! Come on, funnels! Aim at the missiles' heat sources! Get them! Awesome! Kyune intercepted the nuclear missiles. Just what I'd expect from a cyber new type. Axis has started its descent. This new Gundam isn't just for show! Huh? What are you doing? Stop it! You don't have to go along with this! Back off! Get away from here! We can't let Londo Bell hog all the glory! The Kyodogas too? Fall back! It's hopeless! We'll never know unless we try! The Earth is at stake! That's enough! Everyone stop! In the end, the tragedies of mankind will spread and destroy the Earth. It's inevitable. That's why the human race must atone for what they have done to their planet. It's Judgment Day for humanity. Amaro, why can't you understand that? Get back! My Gundam is... This. The psycho frames are resonating. So much willpower focused here. We would overload. That being said, I'm not sensing fear. It's more like, how can I explain? Warmth, even a sense of peace. Fascinating. Even those with the warmest of hearts still have the potential to destroy the Earth. Why can't you see that, armor? I do! That's why we have to show the world this light within the human heart. Axis has changed course! It's moving away from the Earth! Good. 
This new Gundam isn't just for show! What's that? Gundam, where are you? Huh? I missed? Nice one. That's my own rival. What? How? How could my big Sam be destroyed by a single mobile suit? Ugh. You want some more? You won't stop me. My pride is on the line. You won't stop me. I hate people like you. I'm taking fire from below. I see you. Time for you to go. Interesting. This is what gravity feels like. What's this? I can feel that suit. This is annoying. Why do you have to be so stubborn? Give it up already! What? Is he a friend? Or an enemy? Yeah? Then bring it on! Well, I ain't giving up! Wasting time. Lieutenant! <sighs> Who misled me? My work here is done. Go back to your friends.
Yes! You can count on me, Master! Victory will be mine! <laughs> Very well. Fearsome power. I don't want Are to right? shoot. Don't make me. Hopeless child. <laughs> you don't have to do me any favors. Kira! I have nothing but pity for those who are beaten in battle by someone like you. An over-reliance on weapons is a sure sign of weakness in a fighter. Weakness? I'm curious to see how someone with your amateur skills fares against the school of Master Asia. Domon! Yes, Master! Show me your skills. It's huge! Target. Locked on. Mission complete. What? Here too? I'm defeated by a weapon like this, then there is no place for me here. You'll never learn how pathetic war is unless you dirty your hands in battle. If you think it's so pathetic, why do you keep fighting? Sure! will teach you the meaning of honor. Let the past repeat itself! Do you think you can cut off Gim Gingadum? I'm pretty nervous. Gotcha! He dodged? Well, that's the lieutenant for you. Your 
mine! Ha! Huh. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Don't you question anything? Treating cyber new types like lab rats? You're scum! What's so wrong about not wanting to kill? Tell me! So why did you become a pilot? Listen, I am a soldier. You think you can just choose which battles you want to fight? I do! Fine, I'll show you! Like a book. Of course. Because you're me. And I'm you. But it doesn't feel weird when we do this. It's like we're the same person. Wow! I kinda like it. Rue! Judo, it's been a long time since we met. Huh? What are you saying? What's wrong with you, Rue? I've been thinking a lot recently. I'm a volunteer soldier, but you're piloting Gundam. So which of us is higher ranking? I want to find out. What? Are you serious? Ah, uh, I guess you are. Stop fighting! Stop this pointless fighting! Ah! There's no reason for us to fight each other! Yes, there is. Your power creates misery! Your very existence causes wars! Me? I... I want to end all that. That's why I have to kill you! You 
Jubilee! Cecily, stand down! But she's... I'll take care of this! Bask in the glory of victory. Gundam Mark II ready to launch. This is Judo Asta. Say to Gundam, ready to launch. Zabi, launching. This is Camille. Zeta kind of ready to launch. Docking to form double Zeta. Oh. 
Justice Gundam is go! Gundam F91, ready to go. Do so Evan in the V2 Gundam. Go! This is Shin Oscar, Destiny. Go, go, go! How is everyone else on White Base? Wait... I can see them. Sorry. I still have a place I can go back to. I've never felt so happy before. You understand, don't you? I can be with you anytime, Lala. UC-0080. A peace treaty ends hostilities between the Earth Federation government and Xeon. UC-0080. A peace treaty ends hostilities between the Earth Federation government and Xeon. UC-0088. The GRIPS conflict is over. Destroyed by Haman Khan, the wreckage of Shar Aznable's Yakushiki drifts through space. There is no sign of Shar in the open cockpit. It would be five years before he was ready to show his face again. UC-0088. The GRIPS conflict is over. Destroyed by Haman Khan, the wreckage of Shar Aznable's Yakushiki drifts through space. Go back to where the women are! <clears throat> the women? Shiraku! Did I do it? UC-0088. The struggle later known as the GRIPS conflict came to an end. Yeah, I'll need a new helmet. Shiraku's mobile suit took the Jupiter down with it. Thanks to Camille Bidan, the Titans were crushed. Axis withdrew its fleet from the Earth's sphere to escape the chaotic battle. Peace visited the Earth sphere once again. I won't die alone. I shall take your soul with me. Camille, be done! The 
light. It's getting bigger. UC0088, the struggle later known as the Grips Conflict, came to an end. I see a big star blinking in front of me. <laughs> it's, it's so big. A comet? No, it can't be. Comets move way faster than that. <sighs> Poptimus Scirocco is dead, and the Titans obliterated. The price paid was the heart of a young man, now shrouded in darkness. It's hot in here. Whew. I can't get out. Hey! Someone let me out of here! The Argama, having lost its ace pilots, Camille Bidon and Shar Aznable, is forced to retreat. Haman Khan uses this opportunity to expand her advantage. Thanks to the heroism of Judo Ashta, the conflict known as the First Neo-Zeon War came to a close. After the war ended, he decided to travel to Jupiter with Ru Luca. Judo, look after Rue, okay? Shouldn't you be asking me to look after him? It'll take five years round trip to Jupiter. See you when you get back, Judo. Yep, you take care too. Well, I guess we'd better get going, Judo. All right. Judo Ashta, heading out! The young men and women known as New Types each began their own journeys. Thanks to the heroism of Judo Ashta, the conflict known as the First Neo Zeon War came to a close. After the war ended, he decided to travel to Jupiter with Ru Luca. It'll take five years round trip to Jupiter. See you when you get back, Judo. Yep, you take care too. Hey, isn't that... <gasps> Lena? Is that Lena? Lena? Judo! Lena, you're alive after all. Lena, you're all grown up. UC0089, just as he was to depart for Jupiter, Judo Ashta is reunited with his sister Lena. The young men and women known as new types each began their own journeys.
normal attacks aren't very effective against giant-sized opponents. Giant enemies always have certain weak points. These are indicated with this special mark. When the mark appears, launch your attack. Hitting the weak points indicated by the marks allows you to cause more damage. Powered up smash attacks are particularly effective. Let's try one now. By timing your smash attacks, you can knock down even giant-sized enemies. Knocking a giant enemy down increases the amount of time that you can attack its weak spots. Smash attacks aren't the only effective way to do this. SP attacks can knock these giant enemies down as well. Smash attacks work well against giant enemies that aren't showing their weak points. If an enemy isn't showing any weak points, you can use a smash attack to force them to open themselves up to you. You will find this an invaluable tool in your arsenal, so make sure to use it. In battles against giant enemies, your viewpoint is always fixed on them. During times when your viewpoint is fixed, this indicator mark appears on the screen. During battle, you can also destroy portions of giant enemies, such as their arms or legs. This is called partial destruction. Destroying the right portions can prevent these enemies from launching certain attacks. If a giant enemy's special attack is giving you trouble, try destroying that portion of it. But if you can cleanly destroy a giant enemy using its weak spots instead of partially damaging it, you may earn a reward. Once you get the hang of fighting, try to defeat giant enemies without relying on partial destruction. That's it for the basics of fighting giant enemies. Good luck on the battlefield. We're counting on you out there. Normal attacks aren't very effective against giant-sized opponents. Giant enemies always have certain weak points. These are indicated with this special mark. When the mark appears, launch your attack. Hitting the weak points indicated by the marks allows you to cause more damage. Powered up smash attacks are particularly effective. Let's try one now. By timing your smash attacks, you can knock down even giant-sized enemies. Knocking a giant enemy down increases the amount of time that you can attack its weak spots. Smash attacks aren't the only effective way to do this. SP attacks can knock these giant enemies down as well. Smash attacks work well against giant enemies that aren't showing their weak points. If an enemy isn't showing any weak points, you can use a smash attack to force them to open themselves up to you. You will find this an invaluable tool in your arsenal, so make sure to use it. In battles against giant enemies, your viewpoint is always fixed on them. During times when your viewpoint is fixed, this indicator mark appears on the screen. During battle, you can also destroy portions of giant enemies, such as their arms or legs. This is called partial destruction. Destroying the right portions can prevent these enemies from launching certain attacks. If a giant enemy's special attack is giving you trouble, try destroying that portion of it. But if you can cleanly destroy a giant enemy using its weak spots instead of partially damaging it, you may earn a reward. Once you get the hang of fighting, try to defeat giant enemies without relying on partial destruction.
that's it for the basics of fighting giant enemies. Good luck on the battlefield. We're counting on you out there. Normal attacks aren't very effective against giant-sized opponents. Giant enemies always have certain weak points. These are indicated with this special mark. When the mark appears, launch your attack. Hitting the weak points indicated by the marks allows you to cause more damage. Powered up smash attacks are particularly effective. Let's try one now. By timing your smash attacks, you can knock down even giant-sized enemies. Knocking a giant enemy down increases the amount of time that you can attack its weak spots. Smash attacks aren't the only effective way to do this. SP attacks can knock these giant enemies down as well. Smash attacks work well against giant enemies that aren't showing their weak points. If an enemy isn't showing any weak points, you can use a smash attack to force them to open themselves up to you. You will find this an invaluable tool in your arsenal, so make sure to use it. In battles against giant enemies, your viewpoint is always fixed on them. During times when your viewpoint is fixed, this indicator mark appears on the screen. During battle, you can also destroy portions of giant enemies, such as their arms or legs. This is called partial destruction. Destroying the right portions can prevent these enemies from launching certain attacks. If a giant enemy's special attack is giving you trouble, try destroying that portion of it. But if you can cleanly destroy a giant enemy using its weak spots instead of partially damaging it, you may earn a reward. Once you get the hang of fighting, try to defeat giant enemies without relying on partial destruction. That's it for the basics of fighting giant enemies. Good luck on the battlefield. We're counting on you out there. Normal attacks aren't very effective against giant-sized opponents. Giant enemies always have certain weak points. These are indicated with this special mark. When the mark appears, launch your attack. Hitting the weak points indicated by the marks allows you to cause more damage. Powered up smash attacks are particularly effective. Let's try one now. By timing your smash attacks, you can knock down even giant-sized enemies. Knocking a giant enemy down increases the amount of time that you can attack its weak spots. Smash attacks aren't the only effective way to do this. SP attacks can knock these giant enemies down as well. Smash attacks work well against giant enemies that aren't showing their weak points. If an enemy isn't showing any weak points, you can use a smash attack to force them to open themselves up to you. You will find this an invaluable tool in your arsenal, so make sure to use it. In battles against giant enemies, your viewpoint is always fixed on them. During times when your viewpoint is fixed, this indicator mark appears on the screen. During battle, you can also destroy portions of giant enemies, such as their arms or legs. This is called partial destruction. Destroying the right portions can prevent these enemies from launching certain attacks. If a giant enemy's special attack is giving you trouble, try destroying that portion of it. But if you can cleanly destroy a giant enemy using its weak spots instead of partially damaging it, you may earn a reward. 
Once you get the hang of fighting, try to defeat giant enemies without relying on partial destruction. That's it for the basics of fighting giant enemies. Good luck on the battlefield. We're counting on you out there. Normal attacks aren't very effective against giant-sized opponents. Giant enemies always have certain weak points. These are indicated with this special mark. When the mark appears, launch your attack. Hitting the weak points indicated by the marks allows you to cause more damage. Powered up smash attacks are particularly effective. Let's try one now. By timing your smash attacks, you can knock down even giant-sized enemies. Knocking a giant enemy down increases the amount of time that you can attack its weak spots. Smash attacks aren't the only effective way to do this. SP attacks can knock these giant enemies down as well. Smash attacks work well against giant enemies that aren't showing their weak points. If an enemy isn't showing any weak points, you can use a smash attack to force them to open themselves up to you. You will find this an invaluable tool in your arsenal, so make sure to use it. In battles against giant enemies, your viewpoint is always fixed on them. During times when your viewpoint is fixed, this indicator mark appears on the screen. During battle, you can also destroy portions of giant enemies, such as their arms or legs. This is called partial destruction. Destroying the right portions can prevent these enemies from launching certain attacks. If a giant enemy's special attack is giving you trouble, try destroying that portion of it. But if you can cleanly destroy a giant enemy using its weak spots instead of partially damaging it, you may earn a reward. Once you get the hang of fighting, try to defeat giant enemies without relying on partial destruction. That's it for the basics of fighting giant enemies. Good luck on the battlefield. We're counting on you out there.